All right, so today, um, since this quad, it's a Suzuki Ranch quad. It got dropped off to me without the plastics. So we're gonna start working on it. I had it running and idling for a little bit, but it's uh, being kind of chunky. And when you give it gas, it bogs down and uh, dies. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean out the carburetor. Um, if I can get that in frame. Okay, we're gonna clean out the carburetor. It sits right here. Um, so the first thing, to get to the carburetor, I'm gonna take out the air box. So to take out the air box, I need room to get to this. Uh, the, the hard part about working on quads is that they are really tight in there and there's like support bra braces right down the side. So I'm taking out the air box. There's one bolt that goes here and two to go here. Uh, stock size is 10 millimeter. So we're gonna take that out. Uh, be sure to loosen these screws when you go to take them out so these boots don't get ripped. Uh, then you'll have to be re replacing boots too and that's not fun. So I'm working on that. Uh, and then I did a recording on cleaning out a carburetor before. It hasn't quite made it to video yet. Maybe it has by the time this is posted, but I will record cleaning out this one too. Even though most carburetors are the same, they do have some differences. This is a Makuni. We gotta try to take this throttle cable out I think that comes off off of the side over here. So maybe we'll have to take that cover off. Some of them have just a screw up, screw off top, like on most dirt bikes, but this one doesn't. So we'll see how that works. But first, time to get the airbox out. All right, now I have a view of what I'm looking at. Uh, I took off one hose right here that's sitting right here. So this attaches to that nozzle. This one comes to the other side. The nice thing is that most of these hoses will hold their shape and they're different sizes, so they should only fit in one way. There's a fuel line going into the bowl right here, and then there's one coming over here that I'm not sure what that's for, but we'll be sure to put it back um, after we give this thing a good cleaning. Uh, it's seen better days for sure. And this is half for you and half for me because uh, I gotta put this thing back together when I'm done. Here's the side where the throttle cable goes in. I gotta put this thing back together when I'm done and I don't wanna forget anything. So if you ever work on stuff that you're not super familiar with, that you haven't done three or four times in the past, take good documentation so you can put it back together. I just washed off the outside of this carburetor. Uh, if you look at the other clip, it was a lot dirtier than this. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to clean out the, um, the jets and the passageways so the thing's super clear and will run like it was brand new. So one of the first things you have to do is take the bowl off. Underneath the bowl, you have a couple different parts. On this side, you have your gasket that seals the bowl to the main part of the carburetor here. Uh, in here is your drain screw, comes through that edge, attaches right there. I'm gonna clean that out. It looks like there's some stuff in the bottom. So yeah, there's some gunk in there. So I'm gonna use some simple green water and a toothbrush again for that. All right, if you can see the color difference in there, I just cleaned that out. Uh, and that's what gets all over the inside of this. You can tell it's pretty filthy. I'm gonna use some carb cleaner on this, but inside you have an idle jet and a main jet. I have the book right here as well. I can show you the exploded view of the carburetor. I can take this float out, inspect the needle. So now I'm gonna put these jets back in place and then typically that's it for a carb clean if it's just running a little bit rough. I'm gonna check the condition of this diaphragm at the top. Go, diaphragm looks okay. 
just gonna clean out this part. So I got this cleaned out. Okay, one thing I missed that I had to take off when I was part way out was uh, this breather for the rear differential. Um, anyway, it looks like it came off the other side and there's one on the front over here too of this air box. So now we just have to undo that screw for the boot that holds the carburetor in place and then see what else is attached to it. I know there's gonna be a fuel line attached to it and a throttle attached to it at least. So I don't know where those are, so we're gonna start digging in and get to them. Okay, I got the air box back in. The only way I know how to do it, because they make everything fit so tight in these, is to just fight and spit and curse and force it. And then after enough time and enough sweat, and it feels like it's almost got you beat, uh, it'll give in and go into place. Um, so quick tip for all of you who stayed after the video of putting the carburetor back in. This air box is a pain in the butt and most of them are. Okay, so the carburetor rebuild was a success. Um, a lot of this stuff can be kind of fiddly. You usually have to take this apart to get the throttle cable off of the carburetor. Uh, this has a fuel pump on it, which has this vacuum line so you can't drain the fuel. Uh, just get it to fit in there. I usually like to lube everything up a little bit, like the little rubber bushings with some WD-40 or something to make it slide in a little easier. But now it's warmed up just fine, and when you give it throttle, it doesn't bog anymore. So carburetor clean, carb cleans usually help a lot of things. One of the other things he was complaining about was uh, an oil leak. He washed it before I got it, but he said there was oil all over this stuff. And uh, I'm gonna try to get it to overheat and uh, see if it'll leak oil from somewhere so I can find out what that problem is. But anyway, I'm going to uh, read the manual some more because part of being able to do a lot of things is finding where the good information is and then using it. So, uh, hopefully this is one of those sources for you, but that's going to be the source for me and I'm gonna read it and understand the things that I have to, to show you what I'm gonna do on this quad so you don't have to read it. But everything went back together just fine. It's running better now that the, carb the carburetor's put together correctly, unlike before. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.